Grand Rising family is Shay Seeking, and this is Nacho Mama's Bible Study, along with a little bit of his stories, lies. Today we are in the book of Revelations. I've been working on some things that I see occurring at this time. Again, the way that I look at the uh, scripture, I'm not studying it so I can be saved by anyone or um, for any reasons like that. The reason why I'm studying it is to see what is going on because again I look at this book as a history book especially when we're talking about the Old Testament um, in the old world here in America um, so again the way that I see okay um, when it comes to the word by using etymology and defining these terms that are being used um, is going to be an alternative approach to what you normally hear when one is reading the scripture okay so again, we're in Revelation 19. I think this is um, 19 and we'll start at, uh, hmm, we'll start at four, okay? So it says here, then the 24 elders and the four living beings. Again, if there is a such thing as a living being, this is someone that has the breath of God in them. Again, this one of these gods again from the bible okay so it says uh living beings fell down and worshiped god who was sitting upon the throne and said okay now again we can see pelosi here i hope that you got this is my first time trying to do it like this so you can see her here sitting on something that looks to be a throne dressed in all white here we saw her doing a speech again today holding the bible for some reason she read a couple of things from past presidents um, but I didn't see her read any, I, maybe it was just a clip. I didn't see her read anything from the book, but the pieces of paper were inside of the Bible and she was holding it up. Same thing with Trump. They're both, both of their stories. Okay. Or their lines or their, um, because again, all, I always say the world is a stage. So all of these things that are happening have happened before. So again, they are just playing the part this time. Right. Okay. So again, she says uh, something about the Bible, whatever, um, when she's wearing all white. Now, I don't know who these people are in the background, but it really just hewned in on me who we may be talking about. And these may be the 24 elders again or some sorts of it. We'll have to see. Again, I just bring bits and pieces. Again, it's able. It's up to you to discern, discern what's going on here. And again, I'm not here to tell you what it is or what it ain't. I'm just simply sharing what it looks like to me. So... Okay, so it says, um, beings fell down and worshiped God who was sitting upon the throne and said, amen, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And out of the throne came a voice that said, praise our God, all you, his saints, small and great who fear him. Then I heard again what sounded like the sound, the shouting of a huge crowd. Okay, we know that there's a lot of protests going on. She's talking about the protest. She was talking about when she was wearing all white, how they were storming uh, the White House and how the president was sending uh, people out to harm these people. Okay, it says, or like the waves of a hundred oceans crashing on the shore. Again, when we're talking about oceans into waters, we're talking about foreign entities, um, even uh, so-called, well, those who descend from European and um, any other foreign bloodline. Okay, so... Um, this will be, you know, like I say, in the in the caste system that we're in, so-called Caucasians and living so-called black people that came over from other nations that were not already here in America's prior to 1492, like the American Aborigine would represent these people. OK. So it says uh, shouting uh, of a huge crowd or like waves of a hundred oceans crashing on the shore, or like the mighty rolling of a great thunder. Again, praise the Lord for the Lord our God, the almighty reigns. Let us be glad and reign and honor him for the time has come for the wedding banquet of the lamb and his bride has prepared herself, okay? And we wonder who this bride is, right? Again, we do know that we were going through some things with Trump supposedly being impeached. All of a sudden, he that doesn't happen, supposedly. 
from what we know publicly, okay? And then now, again, lots of statements that he's making, he's making them without the presidential seal. So I'm just wondering what all is going on here, okay? Okay? And his bride has prepared herself. She is permitted to wear the cleanest and whitest and finest of linens. Fine linen represents the good deeds done by the people of God. So this is not including everyone. This is including the people of this God, which you would have to go back through the chapters again. I wish I could do that, but again, it takes too much time and see who and what in what situation and who is being spoken to again in these uh, in this verse. OK, and the angel, OK, dictated this sentence to me. Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And he added, God himself has stated this. Okay. So let's see. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him. But he said, no, no, don't. For I am a servant of God just as you are. Okay. And as your brother Christians are. Okay. Again, that's not including everyone or would it just said everyone who testify of their faith in Jesus, okay? The purpose of all prophecy and of all I have shown you is to tell you about Jesus, okay? And then I saw heaven open and a white horse standing there, okay? And the one sitting on the horse was named Faithful and True. The one who justly punishes and makes war. His eyes were a flaming fire. Again, this reminds me of Trump. I'm not saying that that's what it is. But even in the Illuminati uh, uh, card from the 1990s, I believe, um, they show, they depict Trump or someone that looks like Trump in a certain way. Lots of times people have made memes with Trump looking a certain way. So again, I have not delved into this and say that I think that this is it for sure. I'm just pointing something out, okay? So it says, um, faithful and true, okay, punish. His eyes were like uh, flames, and on his head were many crowns, okay. A name, was written, a name was written on his forehead, okay, and only he knew its meaning. He was clothed with garment dipped in blood. Again, notice that Trump is always wearing something that has a little bit of red on it. And his title was the word of God. Okay. Again, he was also uh, taking a photo sh uh, shoot in front of a church holding up a Bible the other day as well. So it says the armies of heaven. Again, the armies or angels, again, of heaven. I say angels because I've done the research and I see that armies and angels can be equivalent to the same thing in my type of uh, research or work. Okay, dressed in fine linen, white and clean, following him on a white horse. Okay, in his mouth, he held a sharp sword to strike down the nations again. Now, uh, we do see that Trump, again, <laughs> has a mouth that is pretty sharp. Okay, he is always speaking of fake news. He is always speaking of other people and their agendas. He is talking about China <laughs> and he is... um actually someone that is um, speaking harsh things all the time okay even about the protesters the other day so he ruled them with the iron grip again he's trying to supposedly drain his swamp or pointing the finger at the democrats and other people um there's also word that there is someone going after the uh, pedophiles and hollyweird and all of these other things and these celebrities so again who knows okay and he trod the wine press of uh, uh, the fiercest, the fierceness of the wrath of the Almighty God on his robe. And thigh was written this title, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Okay, so again, we're gonna stop there. Okay, I would like to keep on. Well, let's just do one more. Okay, then I saw an angel standing in the sunshine again in the sun. Okay, shouting loudly to the birds again, fowl of the air. Come, gather together for the supper of the great God. Okay? So now we're saying of the great God. So it seems like the Lord is over here. But now we're talking about also the great God. Okay? Come and eat the flesh of the kings and the captains and the great generals of the horses and riders and all. Let's see. And all 
of um, humanity, both great and small, slave and free. Okay, so again, this is going to get deep. I'm working on a longer version of this, but this is something that I wanted to put up on my Facebook. Um, I'm going to have to, again, this right here was the State of the Union address, I guess, in 2019, where we see all of these people dressed in white. I would have to go back and see, you know, exactly what we're uh, seeing here. I do notice there's someone that does have, I don't know what this is, maybe a blue hijab or something on with red, uh, you know, attire. But again, everything that we see, you know, is always uh, symbolic for something. Um we are living in the days of revelation because the thing is the book is here so whether you believe whether you're religious which i am not whether you believe there's a god in the sky and a devil under the ground that you know the uh or not okay i believe that all, everything that's going on is happening currently and living and happening right now on this realm okay so again i believe the government has a lot to do with this god figure or one of these figures and I believe that we've been bamboozled. And so I seek the word to see where we can correlate things that are real life history or stories with the biblical uh, fantasies that we are given in religion. OK, so again, just a seeker of truth. OK, and I try to bring forth as much proof as I can. But again, none of us know uh, everything. And again, a lot of us know enough to know that we know nothing. <laughs> so that's why it's up to you to discern and you know consume and take these words it's just you have to use other tools in order to interpret what you're reading here okay and some of us are going to be given eyes to see and some will not okay so again i want to thank you guys for listening and take care don't forget to uh subscribe to my youtube cha channel at american aborigines unchained you can also join us on the facebook group also um named american aborigines unchained or you can find me on instagram at shay underscore seeking if you'd like to see more information like this thanks a lot and goodbye